What's up guys, Sammy here, and today I have a tutorial for you guys. This is going to be an updated tutorial on an app called Moonlight, which is available now on iOS devices such as the iPhone or the iPad. And this is going to allow you to stream basically your PC games using a compatible NVIDIA GPU, such as a GPU series of the GTX 600 series or the mobile variation um, of the 660M uh, series and higher. So what we're going to actually do is head over to the NVIDIA GeForce Experience app um, and we are going to find out a little bit more about what is required. So as you can see here, you will need the variation of these GPUs or higher, um, four gigabytes of system RAM or higher, a wireless AG router at the minimum or uh, what is recommended is a wireless N dual band router. Um, that's what uh, you could probably get away with pretty easily. Uh, as far as, you know, other routers like that, the AC routers, those are really good as well. Um, I've got uh, a review on my channel of the DIR890L if you're interested in that. Um, but yeah, also Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 10 and obviously the latest drivers. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to head over to our iOS device. I've got the iPhone 6s Plus here, as you can see, and uh, we're going to actually go into the Moonlight app. Now, I will have a link to the Moonlight app in the description, or you can just search for it in the App Store. Uh, so from here, we are going to pair our device. Now, you'll see that uh, my device, Sam, comes up. As that is the computer where my, uh, you know, where, what I'm recording from, and that is also where my GTX Titan lives as well. So what we're going to do is we are going to tap on that. But if you didn't have that, if it didn't come up, you could add host, and then you could actually add the the host name or the IP address from there. So we are going to tap on that. And so what will actually happen now is you'll have this code that will come up on the screen. So we can type that in. So it's 2535. And then we can click on connect. And it's as simple as that. Now we have access to our library uh, from the NVIDIA GeForce Experience app. Now you can also add other apps uh, and other games as well through the preferences section under Shield and you can actually add um, further, further uh, stuff as well. So further games and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, you can also stream uh, your desktop, which I will show in a second, and we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, but what I do wanna show you guys is just have, how this actually uh, is actually working. Now on the app itself, you do have a few options. So you can change the bit rate for streaming uh, using 30 Hertz or 60 Hertz. So, um, 720p and 1080p as well as on-screen touch controls as well if you prefer to use that. Now I am using a TT Esports um, Contour uh, mobile gaming controller which I did a review on just recently so if you want to go check that out you can. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually go into Steam. We're going to start that up and you will notice that the, uh, the actual recording has changed as well. So you'll see NVIDIA game stream come up and should hear some sound. And there we go. So now on the mobile device itself, we have Steam running, Steam big picture, which is pretty cool. And I can navigate using my, uh, my iOS game controller. And I can now uh, go through that and pretty awesome. Or I can also use the on-screen I can use touchscreen as well. So it's pretty easy. And as you can see, um, it does work, you know, from time to time pretty well. So there we go. I'm now using the the actual controller to go through it all. And so I can go into different things here. So we've got some uh, games that I've got installed here. So GTA 5. I'm going to be playing a little bit of GTA 5 um, uh, and Rocket League just to show, show you guys how how it runs. Um, and also, I will come back in just a second of how to actually make it so that you can stream your PC, um, just your desktop as well. So if you wanted to do that for whatever reason, that's kind of a cool uh, option as well. So I'll be right back.
All right, guys, so now we're back at the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, and I just want to show you guys quickly before we get into some of the games of how you can actually stream your desktop to your iOS or your Android device. So I didn't really show this in the last one uh, as there wasn't really that much information about it. But now I just want to show you guys how to actually do that. Maybe you want to stream your Netflix account just from your PC or you want to play some different type of game that you can't necessarily do through the, the app. So what we're going to do is we are going to head over to preferences here and we'll see the shield uh, selection right here. Now, you won't have this option unless you've actually connected uh, to Moonlight to your uh, your actual PC. So you'll need to do that. You'll also have the option for get devices there. That's how you know it's there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to add game, this little plus icon here. And what we wanna do is we actually want to head over to this PC and then local C for our drive, uh, Windows, and then System32. So what we wanna then search for, and you can just type the letters, so MSTSC, and this is going to basically uh, open up a remote uh, a desktop connection. So what we're actually going to do is we can just call it a different name. We're just gonna call it desktop so we know what it is, and uh, we can then click OK. You can change the icon as well if you wish to. Uh, so now we can actually go over to our iOS device and we can actually launch into uh, that application to actually bring up our, our desktop. And I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so now we're at our Moonlight streaming again on our iOS device. So we're gonna tap on that and we'll see that we have the option for a desktop. Now again, you can change the actual icon, the actual image of what you want it to look like through the NVIDIA GeForce experience. We're gonna tap on that. And so what you'll see in a second is it'll actually come up with my full display. So there we go. And we can see the display is coming up right there. So very easy to do. You can then navigate using the on-screen uh, controls. You can um, go through it all. And uh, yeah, it works really well. So there you go, that's just that. Now I'm going to actually get into uh, playing some games and showing you guys how well it works. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at some uh, games on the Moonlight app. And as you can see, streaming through the device, we've got Rocket League here. Now, I wasn't actually able to get GTA 5 running and that's because of my installation. I actually need to reinstall GTA 5. Uh, however, it does, it does actually work pretty well. The controls are very, uh, very nice. There really isn't too much lag in between input lag and what you actually see. Um, I also did capture some Project Cars uh, which kind of does a good job as well of showing you um, some gameplay. However, this isn't really the best optimized game controller game out there. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys did, be sure to leave some love and leave a like and subscribe for more tech content and tutorials. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.